Now, we begin. How do you use corruption? I pretty much use it when I'm low on mana or need health. And I'm very, I'm very like liberal with it. Like I'm not, I'm not like greedy with it. Like this guy has ignite. You bet your butt. If I'm down 100 health, 200 health, I'm popping a bottle every time. All right. Because like versus, versus ignite people, the number one thing is to not die before I teleport. And so what I want to do is make sure that I'm always like topped off because that's the whole point of ignite. The whole point of ignite is to like get the like catch them out. When I'm at like 250 health and just finish the job. All right. That's like the whole point of like cheesing with it. So like you'll see me like just spamming bottle a lot when I get like down 100 health. Especially if I'm lower on mana. If I'm lower on mana, that's another reason to like use it. That's the main reason I go bottle actually. I just go bottle because it gives me health and mana. And I really just need mana. Mana on Alawi is essentially health, right? Do you think about it? Because every every pretty much everything I do leads to tentacle slams. It leads to more health. Never want to be low against exites. Exactly. See, Amber knows. We keep it right here because he can't really utilize his leap mechanic if we keep the lane kind of like right here. And also, it just prevents me from dying to jungles. Lame. But that's okay. I don't mind. You notice how I just chugged two bottles? Yeah, that's all I have to do. Keep chugging those bottles. Just help top me off again. Because I'm not going to be in this lane too much longer before I recall. I didn't have my E up when I pressed it. And he's trying to get it to crash so that he can reset. And I'm just keeping it right here frozen. So he can't reset, which is kind of what he wants to do. He wants us to push in. He wants us to push in so it bounces back to him so that he can get a kill on me when I'm, like, out here. He can't kill me right here. I'm, like, unkillable. I'm a god. How can you kill a cod, right? Like, you can't. <laughs> Everyone's like, did he say cod or god? <laughs> I don't know. Did, did he say cod? Like the fish? Like did he say the fish thingy? I'm so confused. Thanks, bruv. And get really good at guessing when like when they're gonna leap that shit. Now it is where he wants it, but now guess what I'm gonna do? I don't wanna hang out here, yo. I'm backing. Peace, bitch. I got my 1k gold. I'm going home. I'm gonna come back with like a million more gold worth of sats than him. That's the play. See, now it's where he wants it. But now I have 800 more gold. Oh. Be careful, be careful. We're almost level six. We don't have to get. We don't have to do anything crazy. Hecarim's top side. I just want to hit level six like like yesterday. Okay. Now, now the lane's pushed, and guess what? He doesn't want to back because it's a bad back time for him, and he can't use the bush because guess what? It's pushed. And we get a kill. And he doesn't have teleport. And he misses a cannon. And I get a plate. It's that easy. It's just that easy. Are you serious? Is that hitting up here? Man, that's such a mega bait, dude. The hacker I'm hanging out with like 100 HP. That's such a mega bait. That's so dumb. I gotta watch out for that. Oh, well. You got me. But, that's how you destroy a Rengar. Unfortunately, we still died to Zed. Nah, he didn't hit a Shuriken. I, I went through at him to dodge it. I was just too low. 
Yeah, it does end up kind of being a wash, right? Because Hecarim didn't even get an assist, so it's just 300 gold. But Zed did lose a wave and a and plate, so Garen got advantages. So it ends up being a wash mid. It's just kind of annoying. Oh, be sure to like and subscribe. I'm probably put this on YouTube because I think that was like a crystal clear. I think that was almost a perfect one through six for Rengar. So that might be like a Rengar video. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe and check me out on Twitch TV Dirty Mobs. It might be actually be the first time I put up like a how to versus champion matchup because I think that was that good. We need level six. Oh, oh no no. Sorry, I need to alert the team. Ringer could run mid with a uh, ult. They be careful of, like Nocturnes, Rengars, Pantheons top because they like to use their ult to just like roam, try to get kills. <gasps> Look at it. It's it's like Christmas. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. 10 HP. A whole split in those minions. Zeds love to ki to kill Alawis, by the way. So if you reverse Zed mid, you just have to you have to watch out for them. I usually die once before I realize, oh yeah, it's a Zed mid. I have to watch out for it. And then I get better about like watching the minimap. I just use our wave clear to keep him under turret, and now he can't use his uh his like jump passive, right? He just doesn't get to use it because our wave clear is so good. We just and as long as we have one tentacle, we pretty much just hold hold this position. He's been back away, so we don't use ult. Blowing our ult, you don't want to blow your ult. You want to hold it, right? Holding your ult is what gives you the potential to one v one or one v two, right? There is value in having things off cooldown, but not using them. There's value in that. Because there's still a threat of me using it. If I blow ult, don't get a kill, and he just kind of like hangs out and heals up, well now, he doesn't have to respect me at all. But by just having it up and just kind of doing this whole thing, now he has to kind of respect me a little bit. Now I generate CS leads. Now I get play leads. Seems pretty good. This is why a lot of the time, you'll see me play like this a lot, and I'll generate these big CS leads and create a lot of pressure, but I won't necessarily have kills. I'll get kills if the jungler comes up. Sure. That's right. I'll just wait for the play. Hecarim's bot. And when we miss it, we kind of have to chill out, though. That's right, because I have tentacles. And he's so much weaker. Oh rip. Is he gonna ult me now? I have to get away from him. Nice. I didn't, I'm a little bit long mana, so I'm gonna go collect this. I can just say top. I guess should be okay. Now he's gonna be a little bit stronger. Now, <laughs> now I just do what I've been doing, baby. Back to what we were doing. Back to having Pryo. I do need like an Executioner's though, he's healing a lot. I use ult there just because uh, I'm pretty sure it's a guaranteed kill as long as we do. Really good rift. I I'll, I respect this rift. Mid's only one plate anyways. So might as well rush and get the the turret. Sometimes junglers they'll there'll be like five plates in mid. God, is that drumming again? Okay, we're back. Good. Is that was right here? I come right here. Um, sometimes they'll come top and use it when there's like three minutes left before plates fall off and mid's at like five plates. It's like. Sure, we could get first turret. But I'm I'm gonna get these plates before 14 minutes. If you look at the like state of the lane, like I'm gonna get it. It's just a matter of time. Whereas mid, it's not necessarily true that we will get those plates. So you should probably go drop it mid. But um here mid it looks like we're gonna get turret anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So coming top I think is fine. Mm-hmm. 
Delicious coffee. My goodness. Good job, team. If executioner is out, I want Gore Drinker. I'm gonna help him out. Let me get Dragon off that. This will lead to us to get, having the Dragon Wing condition. Wing guns are just things you can play to, to to finish the game, right? So, like, if we have two to three, if we have two Drakes now, we play him the next Drake. That's third Drake. Now we have a Drake Wing condition, which is we can just keep playing off Drakes. We don't really have to force like we don't have to force like crazy fights. We can just kind of chill out if we need to. Wait for that Drake. Get the ocean, to get the whatever the Dragon Souls Mountain Soul. All right. Um, sometimes you have like a cast hidden or a kale on your team, and you go, okay, it's fine. We can just play to that win condition, right? They get to level 16. They're marginally not too weak as far as like kills go. Then they win. We just win the game off of them. Those are what win cons are. Win cons are just your ability to finish the game. What's up, Alta? I don't like giving him two play two. Oh, wait. I didn't. <laughs> All right. We're not letting him push this in anymore. He only gets one play. He is super mad. I want Gore Drinker. I could have gone Stridebreaker too. Mobile melee, mobile melee, mobile melee. Range, range. Um, typically, I like Gore Drinker in the more melee teams. Stridebreaker in the more range teams. But um, the mobile melees are kind of those like in between champs. Where it's like, yeah, you could go Stridebreaker too. That's fair. Don't don't give him anything, man. Contest everything. That's a very Faker-esque uh, way to play the game, right? That's what Faker like notorious for, was notorious for in mid lane. Basically, what made him so threatening is that every CS he went for in mid, he would contest. You never got a free CS, right? That's what makes like a really good player. <laughs> I didn't think that would kill him. <laughs> contest every minion. Up 30 CS, we got plate. First turret. We're actually up a lot of gold. There's a lot of people bought. Garen and I are just going to use split push pressure to make him a trade. So even if they go even bot right now, we're going to get tier 2 turrets top and mid probably. Or at least a good bit of pressure on them. And we're going to get like waves. And we're going to deny them waves. And our team's actually winning bottom. Holy moly. That's insane. Just keep chilling. Good time to drink coffee. And just back to pushing. Like, Garen got mid. He even got a... <laughs> like, this game's, like, so over. And we're only up six kills. But we're up so much on, like, pressure. Like, we've generated such good leads through just good play. GG. That's it. That's how you play versus Rengar top. Easy peasy.